Well, today I'm Mr. Rodder's neighborhood. Uh, today is actually one of the things I've been wanting to do for a little while, but it's a road trip day. Uh, you can probably hear the Suburban running in the background. We're gonna go hit the local pick apart, and there's something over there that I really wanna get some parts off of for an old Buick, and uh, may blow your mind if you're a Buick fan. So stay tuned, and we'll get started. So here I am at Express Pull and Save in Laverne, Tennessee. And here is our subject uh, early, early Buick. So it's not so much a Buick, it's, uh, but it's, it's in the family, you'll see. So this is a 2000 uh, Rover. And uh, this is a lot of the, the stuff that I really enjoy is that this engine family that most people don't know anything about. It. So <clears throat> this is a virtually a 215 Buick, but it does have an updated set of aluminum heads on it. Um, that are, they flow a little bit better. They got bigger valves, they got a smaller chamber, but they also don't have the emission stuff, right? So that'll work on any early Buick. Uh, they'll literally just bolt right on. So I'm gonna take some time today. We're gonna pull all these parts off. Uh, I'm gonna get down, maybe take the valve covers as well. Uh, who knows, but uh, just hang in there and I'll keep you updated of what I get done. Up two and a half hours in, it's uh, probably 85, 90 degrees out here. It's hot. And this is about all I've got going on. Uh, I just finally got down to the motor and got the intake manifold off. <clears throat> the heads will be coming off here soon. A lot of this stuff is just weird. Uh, and I'll show you why. Okay, I came with my complete toolbox thinking I'm going to get some of this stuff off. This is an 8 millimeter 12 point head. Okay, if you didn't bring a 12.8 millimeter, you're, you're pretty much figuring things out. Luckily, I have a box in wrench, so it is going to take me a while to get these valve covers off, but uh, not as long as if I had to go buy some tools and come back and do it. So we'll get to it. But for those of you that wanted to do an EFI 215 or 300, right here is your intake manifold. Get one of these suckers, and it's going to be pretty easy. What I also noticed was if you wanted to do like a twin turbocharged EFI setup for a 215 Buick, knock the compression down to eight to one, it is only 3.5 liters, which ironically is the same size as the EcoBoost Ford turbos, right? So you could put two of them Ford EcoBoost turbos on uh, one 215 and probably have a pretty healthy little monster. But that's where I'm at so far. I'll get the heads off and, uh, and update you. I am probably gonna take them valve covers though because they're pretty damn cool. Well, after about a four and a half hour endeavor, I'm finally back, uh, but I got these rover heads off and they're pretty neat little pieces. Um, I'll flip the camera around and show you. All right, so here's my score. Remember this is a 2000 rover head. Um, what's funny about it is it literally hasn't changed much since um 1960s right <clears throat> they still have the small ports um they'm sure they have the small valves and they have the small intake ports but they are an aluminum head um it does weigh like probably maybe 30 pounds uh, if that <laughs> maybe less than that but uh it came with these nice valve covers that are rover cast aluminum valve covers that i figured i'd clean up and put on the buick uh, just to see how they looked but um all in all, it's not a uh, it's not a bad day. Uh, it was 145 bucks walking out of there. So, if you want to do rover heads on your Buick 300 or even just updated 215, uh, these things are still available. Like easy to come by. There must have been three or four sets in the junkyard. Uh, they are just a real pain to get to because I don't know if Rover realized it, but it's like they designed the body to kind of curve around the engine and it makes it impossible to get to like the last head bolt on the driver's side um, in the rear and uh, there's a coil pack down behind the upper intake manifold that is impossible to see um, it's it's literally like underneath the cowl uh, so it was really hard for me to get the intake manifold off it took a lot of time just to figure out what was going on but here they are the scores and we're going to test them. They're supposed to be 25 to 27 cc chambers. 
which in theory should take a 300 Buick up to 11 to one compression from nine to one. So interesting, just let me know. I'll see you later. Oh, hey, and don't forget, we are having an event called the No Name Nationals, Sykeston, Missouri, September 30th, October 1st. Uh, it's at Jeffers Motorsports Park. You can register, you can pre-register on uh, nonamenationals.com. You can even buy pre-registered spectator tickets on there. You'll save yourself five bucks on the spectator ticket. Uh, at the gate, it's going to be $20. Um, pre registered is $15 a day. So make sure you head on over to nonamenationals.com and get yourself enrolled.